Well, there's no turning back now. <laughs> 20th of October. Uh, it's about an hour to bean time. I had to run some errands <clears throat> in town here this morning, pick some stuff up. So uh, normally this kind of business here gets taken care of right away in the morning, but uh, whatever, no harm, no foul. All right, folks. Uh, <laughs> decision was made. Uh, I made a decision a few weeks ago or better that uh, no more second guessing. Uh, this is the grassy alfalfa field. We are across the highway. Most of you can understand that if you catch the uh, channel from time to time. And it's time for this uh, time for this chunk of little land here to get turned over. Yeah, there's nothing else to say. And we're starting today, obviously with a small little load of manure. This is uh, just shy of three weeks worth of uh, uh, bedding and manure that comes out of the barn from that one pen with just those four crossed uh, Angus Holstein uh, calves in it. Uh, I have a little process. <clears throat> when I clean the pen, it goes, just goes straight directly into the gutter system right there by the pen. And because I'm kind of lazy, <laughs> I just simply I move the barn cleaner. The only other option is wheelbarrow on it, but I have no problem with turning on the barn cleaner for 15 feet. And then once it gets to the outside door towards the chute, the upward chute of the uh, uh, the barn cleaner, then it's it's time to run the whole thing and uh, get it depleted. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, you know, those are smaller calves that are in that pen. I do not clean the pen every morning. It gets added to with some fresh bedding. And depending on how it looks, the pens only get cleaned out uh, normally it's been every three days I can get away with that though because they're they're, they're smaller calves it makes a big difference we're gonna get this fired up here in a second this is not part of the grassy alfalfa I gotta be honest with you folks I got some very high hopes for this field to absolutely flourish for next year. <sighs> That's my wishful thinking. This field along with about three or four others, um, I feel took a hurting from last fall's no-till drilling. Now I know how ridiculous that sounds, but that's uh, that, I'm sticking with that. I believe it hurt it for at least the first year and it definitely did this year uh, this is always just a monster of a bunker buster every first crop it was not it was hideous and then uh, mixed in with this field's condition not to mention our uh, drought periods uh, th there was not a second crop taken off of here had multiple multiple properties like that this year but uh, we're not going to cry in our soup here about that anymore. I, I, I've got uh, some very wishful thinking, some high hopes for some of these properties that they're actually going to show their face from last fall's no tilling this coming next year. That's my mad science. I'm sticking to it. Uh, Dad's got one of his blinds out here on the alfalfa field. I'm sure that you can see that. Looks like he renewed it. Yeah, that's right. It got destroyed in a windstorm. I forgot about that. Not to mention, uh, my brother's got a high-rise blind up over here. That got destroyed in the windstorm as well. That has been renewed as well. But, uh, I haven't figured out just yet what I'm going to do with this field. Except for that I can tell you it's going to get caked with manure respectfully. It's going to get moldboard plowed. And I'm not sure what route I'm gonna go here. I do know this, 
This is going to be my chunk of property for the next three, four years that's going to get turned over every year for a harvestable crop. In four to five years, it'll be planted with something with a pure seeding alfalfa again. That's the plan right now. Who knows? It could be grass. I don't know. We're in the 6400 cab tractor, which is going to stay married to the H&S uh, 270 manure spreader. Uh, it's going to stay hooked up until until the snow becomes too great, if that's the case. Uh, I can promise you this winter, if we have anywhere close to a normal winter, I will be kicked off of this field from spreading manure. It gets really, really bad out here. Naturally, it's very, very open, so it gets bad. Uh, <coughs> but of course, I have this year's sorghum field as a backup to spread more, you know, more manure if I get kicked out of here. And of course, I'll put the 6150M on the spreader if the snow becomes too great for the uh, two-wheel drive 6400 tractor. So let's get this started and then I'm going to let you go. I got a full day of odds and ends. That's about it, folks. We're saying goodbye to the grassy alfalfa field. Nine years worth of a pile of feed. I've given you the story behind this field multiple times. I'm not going to do it again. Um, so, yeah. We'll turn it back now. <laughs> That's all I got folks, just taking you with me. It's a happy Thursday. And, uh, see what we can do. I've been working on a lot of things around the barn here, so uh, I'll definitely be taking you with me and uh, showing you what I got cooking. We're gonna talk to you sooner and later. <laughs>